Hey everyone, uh, this one is a Vizio, I believe it's a 42 or 43 inch class, uh, yep, right there, 43 inch, um, let's see, the model is E43U-D2, and uh, we're going to be pulling out the power supply and main board on this one as well as scrapping the rest, seeing what parts are usable. This one has a broken display on it as well, and it just costs too much to even try to think about replacing them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and aim our camera here. This one is going to take a little bit more effort than some others. It's got quite a few screws here in the back. So we've got five screws along the bottom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten through the middle, and then another five along the top. So about 20 of them. And then if you're trying to put this back together, you want to keep track of your screws. And then you're going to have a couple of screws uh, on the bottom, uh, two per speaker. I don't think that's going to be necessary for disassembly, but it is going to be necessary if you want to replace those speakers. So we want to stand it up and separate everything. So 
a little pry along the top if you've got some fingernails. Otherwise, I recommend a plastic pry tool. And from the inside, it doesn't look like the speakers are holding on to anything. takes a little bit of extra pull on there to uh, separate the plastic. So, looks like I missed a screw on this one. Learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make your own. to pull the uh, entire back panel off all the way there are wires attached to the speakers that are kind of difficult to get out and then there's a wire attached to the button controls that is a little difficult to get out of place as well everything's taped in fairly well inside there Right here, we had, on this, there's a screw there and a screw there if you want to take that piece off. And Looks like this whole plastic section comes out right there right here there's a plastic clip that holds it in there and then you can pop the entire back off now we get we get to the uh, major components inside you've got your power supply is going to be right here and these three boards four boards are going to do different functions as far as dividing up the power dividing up the uh, input and output signal this one is going to output the final signal from here into the display these ones down here on the bottom there's not a lot you can do with those they just they're attached to the LCD um, not a lot you can do with those but one thing you want to look for if you're having problems with your TV and it just simply won't turn on the power is going to be or the problem is going to be somewhere in this area uh, typically anyway this is this is what converts from your AC power into the DC for all the boards and a lot of times what you're going to find is these capacitors they're going to be swollen they're going to be uh, leakings the the material that's inside there they can be replaced if you know what you're doing how to, and how to solder otherwise you can look on the logic board for a part number you can look it up on ebay and usually find one so and that's what we're going to start with here Once again, keep track of all your screws because you're likely going to want to be able to reassemble your TV.
and then we have this screw in the middle. Again, learn from my mistakes, make sure you've got all the screws loosened. And then these are like any regular clip that goes internally. You press down on it and pull. Or this one doesn't have a clip, it just kind of fits snugly in there. And just a gentle tug is all it takes. Um, you want to be careful picking this up. These uh, capacitors can store electricity in there after it's been powered off and unplugged. So be careful not, not to touch the ends on there for a good while after you've turned off the TV and unplugged it. But there's your logic board. Um, usually where you're gonna find the part number is on that one. There's usually some revision number that tells you uh, because sometimes they'll mo modify them to work better something like that or modify them for different year and model So you look for that number on eBay or on Google uh, See if we can get the camera to Sorry about that. We dropped the uh, board and knocked the camera anyway the uh, The part number is gonna be right here you look it up on eBay or Google and uh that should bring you to the part that you need make sure that the part numbers match up identically as well as try to get a picture of what it looks like uh, review it a little bit compare it against the board and make sure that everything looks exactly the same it is possible to uh, mess up and order the wrong part just based on search terms so <clears throat> the next thing we're going to move on to is this board right here This one looks like it's uh, controlling a lot of the backlight. Okay. And then once again, you're going to look for numbers on there. It looks like Looks like the top one is going to be the one to look up. But if, if any of your uh, search results don't come back with what you need, just look for another number that's on the board marked clearly like that one. All right, this one you're going to want to pinch and pull. These ones you just pull. And that one, you pinch and pull. It's got little clips on the end there. And then this one, you pinch top to bottom and pull. And this is going to be your main video driver here. Your main video board. This brings in all your HDMI inputs external video sources and these ones are a little bit tricky it doesn't look like the plastic piece wants to come out from underneath yet there's a screw underneath a bad spot to have a screw for absolutely no reason. And from what I can tell, these are just slid underneath there. They're not actually being held by the screws. And so this right here, get behind the camera so I can see what I'm showing you. 
And then right here, these are gonna be your part numbers. Okay, last board here. Same thing, you pinch and pull on that one. We've got just the two screws that hold this one down. Now, if you're replacing the board, your best bet is to uh, pull from this side. If you're selling the board, you wanna pull from the other side. Uh, just pull the brown uh, piece of plastic open and then gently pull. And then as you go to look it up or list it, it looks like this is gonna be your number right along here. And so that's just your control board for the LCD panel. So any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, putting it back together, it's just the reverse of how you took it apart. You're gonna put the, the new part on, put the screws in, connect the cables exactly where they lie. As you can see, the manufacturer has been nice enough to tape most of the wires in place so you can see where they should go. And once you put your boards in place, it's just as simple as connecting the wires pretty close to where they lie. So once again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you found it helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.